Trending news. Tinumbu has launched an assault on Igbos and all non-Yoruba speakers in Lagos. Atiko Takos Tinumbu. Do welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to the news. But please don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. The news details. Please listen carefully to the end. The People's Democratic Party presidential candidate in the February 25th election, Atiku Abubakar, has tackled the president elect Bola Ahmed Tunumbu of the All Progressives Congress, APC, for the attacks that took place in Lagos during the governorship and state assembly elections. He said that it is sad that talks who we are working for the All Progressive Congress, we are profiling voters and beating up those that we are Igbos and telling them to go back home. In the statement, he released through his special assistant on public communica- communication, Frank Schwab. Article said that Nigeria under Tenumbu will be like what Germany was under Adolf Hitler, where Jews were targeted and the right to vote was suppressed. In the report, which was made, he said, what the world witnessed in Lagos at the March 18th governorship election was nothing short of Nazism. It was the tactic employed by Adolf Hitler in the 1930s. At that time, they engaged in profiling and used the Jews as their punching bag. bag. Today, Tinumbu has launched an assault on the Igbo and all non-Yoruba speakers in Lagos. He accused Tinumbu of adopting fascism with disdain for democracy and said, and said that with what happened in Lagos, Tinumbu has elevated dictatorship and scientific racism and wants to take it to the na- national level. He added that when they say when they see that they cannot win an election, they result to stirring up ethnic sentiments and foulness. Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate for the People's Democratic Party, who has made it in the social media and the news, making it known that Ashwaju Bala Ametinubu of the ruling APC, who is the who was who is the president elect, that they have launched an assault on Igbos and those people that could not speak Yoruba, the, the speakers that could not speak Yoruba in Lagos. He said during the Remember that during the governorship election in Lagos, we had different news in different polling units, different local government areas, whereby some thugs are seen snatching ballot boxes, while some we are seen sending back people that are Igbos. Even despite the fact that some of them want to vote for all progressive congress, but they do not care. Now, ethnicity has entered into this thing. Why not allow people vote for the candidates of their choice, making the election free and fair? The talks sent them back, the Igbos back, not to vote for any candidates, beating them, eating them with stones, throwing stones at them, and making sure that some of them had bruises on that day. Even some Yorubas who looks like Igbos were also attacked, not minding who they want to vote for, believing that the Igbos wants to take authority in Lagos State, and that cannot be possible. But the presidential candidate for the People's Democratic Party said that is bad. Why doing that to the citizens of Nigeria? You know you fully well that it is liable for us to cast our votes 
for the candidate of our choice. The Igbos were reportedly attacked in different local government areas in Lagos states. That this is uncalled for. That under that Nigeria under Tinubu will be like Germany was under Adolf Hitler, whereby the right to vote was suppressed, and they make use of Nazism, ethnicity had come into it, and this is not good for a so-called state. Lagos states wish they have tagged as a no-man state. The Igbos saying it is a no-man state, that the economy of Lagos was built by the Igbos. They're trying to take charge of Igbos. But the channel in which the talks, the talks of the All Progressive Congress, used to make sure that those people do not cast their vote is a wrong choice, is a wrong motive. What do you have to say about the statement from Article? Please feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Thank you.